Hello, this is Moongle FTW, and welcome back to the Magical Mystery Tour of Final Fantasy IX. You know the drill. And she's back. Yeah, if you grab this uh, shaft and then shove it in the hole, then yeah, magical things will happen. First, you're going to have to move the left lever about like four times. You just have to push it down until you can see the little hole. Yeah, yeah, but now I can see the little hole. See? Ooh, I've just had a somewhat nasty revelation. The first Grudge film isn't on later on in the day. It's only on at like midday so I'm gonna have to watch it then and then the bad part is I'm gonna have to spend like four hours in the house alone scared to leave the room that I'm in I bet it's crap now I'll watch it and it won't be scary it'll be really shit I can see it coming perfect yeah what's that scholar doing how's he supposed to get down He's supposed to get someone else to turn the crank for him yeah now that you've left lifted this thing up you can now like stop this guy and he's like you know, he doesn't even thank you, you know, I mean, I did all the work, but hell. Yeah, so now we've done some work so that we can shop. That seems so fair. Alright. Well, let's leave this awful place and never return. And she's buying a step. No, I can't sing that. I mean, you know, I've ruined many a song, but there are some songs that are just too sacred. All right, and I'm here at Ibsen's castle, the most northernmost point of the Forgotten Continent. I love how I do that with the map. Thank you, me. Yes. Excellent work. You look like a tard. Okay. This is Ibsen's castle. Yeah, I know it's upside down. And I'll get to that. Something that I didn't actually know before, but one of my subscribers told me. So thank you, one of my subscribers. <laughs> Can't remember the name. Is this the old castle Hilda told us about? Yeah, you'd think, wouldn't you? I mean, you can't just find them everywhere, can you? Like it's upside down or something. Now this is like one of the few places in the game that I actually know my way around. It's badass. I don't know why I like this location so much. It's probably because it's got such an easy boss fight at the end. I'll take three of you with me. Blah blah. Okay. Hey Moogle. Yeah that's right. It's G.I. Ginger's time to go emo. It's his moment. It's his time. It's his density. Uh, sorry. Destiny. <laughs> oh that joke never gets old. What's your point? The pencil. Mm, nice. Working alone beats working in a team any day, and I'm going to prove it. Okay. Really? On your own? Come on now. <sighs> Let's face it. Final Fantasy is made better with huge teams. It's so much easier when you have, like, four people in the team. Jajin, you selfish, ignorant fool. Yeah, I didn't change the names or anything. Honest. Bye bye <laughs> uh, Yeah. No, you can't go. Ha! Stay here. That's too bad. I'm going anyway. Lol. See? He just goes anyway. But thou must. Thanks very much. See you later. Not if I see you first. Are you sure about this? Sure is sugar, honey. You creepy rat-faced weirdo. Now let's roll! We'll beat G.I. Ginger at his own game. Well, not really, because... Because, um, we're in a team. So, we're not really beating him at his own game. So, yeah, I put my end game party in. Uh... Yeah, and we're here at... It, it's a, that's actually an L, by the way. It's not an I. It's an L. This place is called Lupsen's Castle. Like, you know... Uh... Um... Ilya. Ila, I suppose the name would actually be. You know that girl from earlier? Who dropped her ticket? Yeah. She's become somewhat of a celebrity in this playthrough, hasn't she? Her and Morid. You know? Yeah, the forearm man. Yeah, I've got a letter for you. Come wool. <coughs> hey, Kamul, how are you? Whoop! Oh, <coughs> wow, fail. <coughs> Those muggers in Limbo are all wondering the same thing these days. Where the heck is Magnet Central? No one knows. Whoop! Do you know where it is, Kamul? It's supposedly very far away and you can't get there very easily. All oh, kind of like this place then, really. Yeah, you can't get there unless you're riding on a chocobo. Whoop! Wow, my coupons are failing recently. I guess my voice isn't in the mood to do it. I'm kind of like losing my voice right now. But I don't care. I suppose I'll do some more recording after I watch Grudge. Yeah, yeah, that'll probably help actually. Me, um, because I find that if um, you're in like a like a sinister silence, then the best way to combat that fear is to acquaint yourself with the silence by talking as loudly as possible. And as you all know, I managed to string together like complexive sentences without too many stumbles, but I like talking in like a mindless, random, continuous stream. 
Yeah, you can tell I'm in the mood to record because I'm not going. Blah, 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 blah. That's how you work it out. That's how you know. I'm actually in quite a good mood, even though you know. I have to get it. Um. Oh, you don't want to know that. I won't bother telling you. It's not important. It's of no consequence. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm trying to like climb up this wire. I'm like, how do I get that treasure chest? But don't worry, I find out later. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, well, um. Oh, one of my subscribers asked me um what my favourite piece of music was from all FF games, and it's probably a tie, right? Between um two Zanakund from FF10. Yeah, I know FF10. What was I thinking? I didn't, I liked FF10. It, I mean, it it wasn't. It's nowhere near the best FF, but it's it was the last good one, you know. I mean, look then then we had 10-2, which was hilariously fail. Then 11, I mean, what were they thinking? That started out fresh, it was like all MMORPGs, but I knew what had happened. I mean, um, when it first hit European uh, servers, I was, like, I was so excited. Yeah, you have to do this in a certain order. You just like go examine, push, and then go all the way down, and do everything you can to this door. You're like, hmm, oh, what an interesting world, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Yeah, but when FF FF11 first came out, it was so exciting and fresh, you know, because you leveled up, you met people, you went all over the place. It was probably like um, how it was when World of Warcraft first set up, you know, when Leroy Jenkins was there and all that crap. You know, everything was really exciting. <laughs> we are equally matched. I must do something drastic. <laughs> oh my God, what happened? <laughs> no, okay. Look at this, like, he tries something drastic, all he does is just drop kick the wall. <laughs> That's crap. Get a job. Alright, and then, yeah, just eventually you just have to give up. You're like, oh, I quit. And you just rest, and he's like, ah, jump, yeah. Like an Indiana Jones, nice. And once you're out here, you can get a treasure chest. I think it's a barrette. Ooh, yes! Oh, my memory is sad. I can never remember important stuff. Yeah, but F F11, it went the same way as all MMORPGs, it just led to... People stop talking about like the awesome like places and you know uh, I came out wrong. You know what I mean? And it, you know it was all about shitty acronyms and all that crap. You know? <laughs> I hate it when that happens to MMOs. Yeah, and it turned out GI Ginge won. Let's get going, team. Who would have guessed it? He got here and then I don't know, pissed on the wall or something. Who knows? Left his mark. My power is protected high atop a mountain. Wonderful. My power is protected by the earth. Is this being sped up or is it me? Oh no, it's not. Or is it? Is this going at double speed? Why is it going at double speed? Oh, whatever. Something on the wall. We have to break the seal. Or, or, or. But then, yeah, we get this guy like, return my mirrors. Yeah, I hate that one that happens to MMOs. I know, I'm, I'm kind of talking in roundabouts here, but, um... <laughs> His name is Tomahawk. But anyway, we have to fight this giant lobster now. Oh my god, it's Ultros! No, that would be pretty badass though. What am I talking about? Ultros was stupid. Look at him. I am the Overlord. Okay. Um, <laughs> you win so many points if you got the reference I just made. Um, yeah, MMOs when it just gets all about strategy and acronyms and people are talking about doing different instances and how to best maximize efficiency and how to do it at the lowest level and blah blah blah. And it, you know, it becomes less about the game and just more about senseless grinding. And don't get me wrong, I can senseless, senselessly grind in these Final Fantasy games, but you know, it has to lead somewhere. There has to be some kind of plot. Also, when you're playing MMOs, you get the feeling like, when you're, when you, like, achieve a mission, and, like, in all the trailers, it's like, you will become the most powerful legend ever. And, yeah, you just think, yeah, along with millions of other people. Yeah, if you silence this guy, it, it pretty much cripples him, so I wouldn't worry about doing anything else. And he, like, goes into curve mode. I think that's where, uh, physical attacks do less damage or something. But I'm going to be stealing with, um, what's his face? You know, yeah, that guy. <sighs> and then there was FF12. Oh my, what a monstrosity. Why would you even do that with the battle system? Why are there so many freaking wolves in that game? I, I I could make a list of the things that were wrong about that game. Yeah. 
And there's some people that like it. No, it was good, it was innovative. You just don't like it because you're such a hardcore fan of the old games that you can't take change. No, I can take change. I just can't take shitty change. That's the difference. I've still got Cup of Tea number 23 in front of me, you know. And it's damn fine. It's going cold, though, so, yeah, I'm going to have to drink that pretty soon. <laughs> He's ramming me. Lol. Yeah, just thought I'd slip that one in there. <laughs>